عمركم سمعتوا عن مدرسة ما فيها صفوف؟ عمركم سمعتوا بمدرسة ما فيها سادة؟ عمركم سمعتوا عن مدرسة بدون أي رسوم وبتعتمد على منهجية تعليم الأقران؟ شو هالمنهجية بالضبط؟ هاي التساؤلات كلها وغيرها راح نجاوبها وبالتفصيل بس بالأول تابع الفيديو الاسم 42 أبو ظبي الموقع في قلب مينا زايد بأبو ظبي تخصص مختلف أصول البرمجة فترة الدراسة مفتوحة على مدار الساعة سبع أيام بالأسبوع طيلة العام مدرسة 42 أبو ظبي اللي افتتحت في عام 2021 احتلت المرتبة الأولى في تصنيف مدارس البرمجة في العالم وتعتبر الأولى في منطقة دول مجلس التعاون الخليجي اللي بتنضم إلى شبكة 42 المتنامية عالمياً واللي افتتحت أول مدرسة في باريس في عام 2013 ستوفر هالمدرسة المتطورة منصة تعليمية جديدة لبناء المهارات الرقمية المطلوبة لريادة اقتصاد المستقبل القائم على التكنولوجيا في القرن ال21 وحديثنا راح يكون مع مستر مارك سمولر الاكتنج سي او اللي راح يحكي لنا اكثر عن هاي المدرسه وشو النتائج اللي طلعوا فيها وكل التفاصيل اللي حابين تعرفوا عنها خلينا نبلش So Fort Abu Dhabi is a disruptive higher education institution um, in which you learn coding Now it's very important that we say learn and not teach because we don't have any teachers uh, or classrooms or lectures as you can see Uh, so it is a, uh, a different model of education, but uh, the skill sets that you gain are in coding uh, and software development. Uh, and so that's, this is why we're, we're a little bit different, and so we call it a disruptive education model. Uh, but essentially what it is is students who earn their place here uh, go through various projects in a project-based learning uh, to complete a diploma in software development. And it is in a peer-to-peer -peer methodology. So you leverage your peers uh, to learn and to solve really complex issues. And the very first thing you learn when you first open up uh, is if you have a question, look to your right, look to your left. And if you can find the answer, if you can't find the answer, go to Google. So what motivated 42 Global Coding School to choose Abu Dhabi as a starting location and its expansion to GCC countries? So as part of your first question, what services do we provide uh, for Abu Dhabi? The whole thing is about bridging a tech skills gap, right? So you have people here that may have a specific knowledge or a degree uh, in, in a specific field, but may not have the relevant skill sets to immediately go into the workforce. And that's where we come in. We bridge that gap with, related to tech skills. But here specifically, it's, it's a way for us to really cement Abu Dhabi as the, the hub of technology, right? So the, these are services that in general would be outsourced, that we would like that skill set to be here within UAE, uh, within uh, Abu Dhabi and the GCC to really have this uh, knowledge uh, with the nuance and the culture of here. What are the special programs that 42 Abu Dhabi offers and who can benefit from them? So we're open to everyone. Uh, accessible education is our ethos. And really the projects are around uh, very deep into the, the, the ecosystem of software development. So here students start learning in C language programming. They go into C++. And then from there, they really start doing things related to web development, mobile app development, and they can specialize. Cybersecurity, AI, blockchain, things like that. Um, and so these are skills that are relevant and in need into the workforce today that allows them to really, really, really have a, a position in the workforce. So how integrated 42 Abu Dhabi is with um, Abu Dhabi's tech market and entrepreneurial scene overall? So we do partner with uh, industry partners uh, to benefit our students. So in order for them to have uh, stipends or uh, sponsorships or uh, job placements, things like that. So we are always very closely related to the industry. We want our students to be closely related to their entrepreneurial side as well. So when they learn to figure things out throughout the program, they naturally tend to flow into a curiosity of, well, how can I bring my ideas to life? Uh, how can I start my own company? How can I start my own business? So I was just about to ask, do companies actually reach out and scout, like check 
yeah. what kind of talent do you Absolutely. guys have and you know unique students uh, specific Absolutely. programming languages or something. Absolutely. So the benefit the benefit of a program like this is that the students aren't uh, bound to programming language, right? Once you learn the knowledge, it's like teaching them Latin and asking them to learn uh, Romanian, Portuguese, French, right? So there there's all these connections that they can make because they learn the structure and then they can just kind of extrapolate from there. As 42 Abu Dhabi adopts project-based work, peer-to-peer -peer learning and gamification in its curriculum, does this create a rich community of coders and digital entrepreneurs in Abu Dhabi? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we actually find that although we have a lot of expats here, uh, most of them are living here or were living here before and want to continue to stay here. So they want to keep the skill sets here. And we also have a very vibrant and strong UA national community, right? So it's very much about making sure that the skills are relevant here and there's a ton of appetite from the industry in hiring these skill sets here. Speaking of the community, um, how do 42 Coding School alumni support Abu Dhabi's you know, tech and AI industry overall? Absolutely. So right now, we're still going through our very first batch of students. Uh, so we don't have any alumni yet, but there are 15,000 graduates uh, from the program, from other campuses, who show interest in coming here. We actually have ex-42ers that work here uh, and support us through it. And so as a company, they don't have access just to the talent here in Abu Dhabi. They have talent to 15,000 the of these coders in the network. What are the innovative similarities between 42 Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi's vision? So the vision of Abu Dhabi to be the, at the forefront of technology, a technology hub uh, within the GCC in the Middle East, is actually directly aligned with what we do here, right? Having this skill set here, being able to apply these cutting edge technologies are really relevant to the vision of making sure that we're at the forefront. Thank you very much, Marques, for this interview and for giving us some of your valuable time. It's been uh, really awesome to see this place. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this in more and more cities. Thank, Thank you, you so for much coming. for your time. Thank you so much for coming. Now let's finish this game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> let's go.